wanted to talk about two things. One, with packing, in packing cubes, capsule wardrobe, mm-hmm. and understanding the base color you should bring and how you can, like, pack without going overboard. <laughs> So if you pack in the same way as if you had a capsule wardrobe, Mm -hmm. you can actually maximize the space. Yeah. Um, It depends on where you're going. Let's say Ireland. That's the most recent trip I took. I knew we were going to be there for a week. Now, mind you, I thought I was going to go on to Athens for a month after that. So everything I brought was all I was planning to carry for a week and a month. She didn't carry a lot. I was still in a backpack. I was still in my peak design. Um, So for me, I always think you're going to do a lot of laundry and accept that. Also, if you only wear, like, a basic color scheme, I'm okay if I kind of look the same every day. I know some people are like, well, I'm trying to get my capsule wardrobe so I have a bunch of different outfits. But to me, you're putting in a lot of thought into your clothing every day. I'd like to put in my thought at the beginning and Mm -hmm. then just be able to, like, blindfold me. I pick two things and I've got an outfit that works. Mm -hmm. So, But no matter how much thought you put in the beginning or you put at the end, the thought is done so when you pick out even if you're blindfolded you should that the whole thing is mix and match and you're good exactly so you start with your base color and let's just say the three base colors and you can i mean get fancy if you want to i know someone's going to defy me like olive green's my base color but black navy and brown. brown and so those are your base colors yeah I tend to go with black. I used to do like all navy, but I found that it's really hard to match different navies up against each other. Mm -hmm. Like navy at one store and a navy at another store are different colors. Right. Black is black. So you pick black as your base. So then you think, okay, at minimum three to four bottoms. So if I'm doing bottoms, one pair of jeans, one black pair of jeans, um, a skirt, a pair of slacks. Or right. something fun. The right. slacks can be anything. So for me, like last time, I think I did um, faux leather leggings, mm-hmm. different things, a skirt that can go to dinner, the leggings if you're going out at night, mm-hmm. the denim and the black jeans just for your day to day. Then you need to get maybe one dress and then a couple of shirts. So like one short sleeve t-shirt, one long sleeve t-shirt, a button up or something that can be worn mm-hmm. like with the slacks and look nice a dressy shirt, Mm -hmm. and then a tank top. Mm -hmm. Then all you need is a sweater, a jacket, scarf, two pairs of shoes. For your shoes, one pair of sneakers, and then one thing that can go to dinner. And that's either going to be sandals if you're going somewhere warmer, or like a pair of loafers or something if you're going somewhere colder. And basically, that is how you can pack down. Check out our website, flirtingwithtravel.com, and there are capsule pictures on the website. That's your entire capsule wardrobe. Yep. Yeah. So that's like the basis of all of my shopping, or that's the basis of all of my packing. So the moment I know I'm going somewhere, I've got like this little $11 clothing rack that I got from Ikea, and I start putting all my clothes on there. I make sure everything can go with each other. I try it on to make sure it all fits. And then once I see everything on there, then I start taking things away, subbing things out, depending on how the weather's gonna be. And then I, it's super rare now that I'm unhappy with my clothing. That's all for this week, but the trip doesn't have to end. Link up with us on Instagram at Flirting with Travel, or check out flirtingwithtravel.com for itineraries and more travel hacks. Taking off, love you.